I've never been a big fan of lead clips. Yes, they're easy to set up and they make transporting rods simple and convenient, but the problem is the carp are gonna use the weight of that lead against us, unless we're prepared to lose a lead every time we get a pickup. The standard alternative to a lead clip is a running lead. I'm a massive fan of running leads and I've been using them for years. The downside to running leads is that they're not as convenient to use as lead clips. So what I like about this run clip is that you get all the advantages of a running lead setup and all the advantages of a lead clip setup with none of the downsides of either system. So there are four components to the run clip system. So the closest component to the reel would be the tail rubber and that is either going to slide over a lead free leader or bare mainline or rig tubing. The next component is this small rubber ring and it's that that's going to fit over the body of the lead clip and hold the lead in place. So this is the body of the lead clip here and it's this curve which makes it completely different to a standard lead clip. The next component is a little sleeve which is going to fit over a swivel. So I'm just going to take the tail rubber and pop them on the lead free leader like that. Then I take the rubber ring and slide that up. We then take the clip body and that lead free leader passes through there very easily. We do need a needle to thread this sleeve in place. So hook that on there and slide that along. Then we can take a swivel, could be any type of swivel, but I'm just going to use a simple little quick chain swivel. So the next step is to slide the sleeve over the swivel. I've just pushed that sleeve on to cover the barrel fully. We then take the ring and the ring slides over the back of the clip like this. And I'm just going to position it there. And you can see we've got a little gap there. So we've got space to clip our lead on in a minute. And then we just take the tail rubber and pop that on the back of the clip there. And that is the clip fully assembled. Then I'm going to take a lead. This is just a standard three ounce pair. Hook it on the leg and then slide the ring over the leg. So because I'm using a quick change swivel, I do want to add a little anti-tangle sleeve over here to stop the rig coming off. And I'm just going to be careful. I'm going to push that on until it covers up the leg, but I'm not going to push it so far on that it interferes. I want to see a bit of a gap here. If there's no gap, then I'm going to lose the rotation of there. If I pull that fully up there, that will no longer turn and I want to maintain that rotation at this point. So that's the run clip setup complete. And you might think, well, what's so special about that? Carp's going to come along and he's going to pick up the rig. And that sliding through there, the lead is going through my hand and we're getting bite indication already. But the carp has not felt much in the way of resistance. So the carp's going to get to about this point here and he doesn't realise what's going on at all because there's no real shock effect. But as he gradually pulls tighter and as your clutch comes into play, what happens is when I put tension on this, the bend in this clip locks the lead in place. This means that the lead gets picked off the ground. And when the lead gets picked off the ground, the carp feels that there's something there and that he's got a problem. The thing is, he realizes it too late. At this time, the carp's lip and the lead are a good 18 inches, two feet apart. Depending on what range you're fishing, it, that effect might not happen until kind of this point here could be three foot away. But somewhere around here, he's going to realize that there's a problem. But when he shakes his head, he can't do anything about it. The lead has already moved too far away from the hook. So this really plays into our hands. The carp can't use the weight of the lead against us. I know if you're not familiar with fishing running leads, you might think, well, what's doing the hooking of the carp? But I know from fishing running leads for many, many years that you really don't need much weight of lead in order to catch carp very consistently and very successfully on a running lead system. You just don't need a heavy lead. So I believe the reason this system works so well is that it tricks the carp into a false sense of security. The carp basically doesn't understand that there is a problem until it's too late. And the bites can be quite spectacular. It can be absolute one toners out of the blue. You might have a one beep and then a one toner. I've had some savage dropbacks as well. Either way, you get a really positive indication followed by usually a blistering run.
Under tension, this clip locks on the line. If it's a slow steady take, the clip is gonna slide along and it might even come off the leader. Basically what it means is that the lead does not get ejected on the take, it's just not necessary. So on a regular take, you're gonna get your lead back, but on a savage take, you might lose the lead. And this is because the clip's gonna lock in place. There we go. One violent shake of the head, you're pulling, the carp's pulling, and that, that lead is off. So it's good and bad. Yeah, you've lost a lead, but you've got a very, very good chance of landing that carp. And I'm okay with that. If you're looking for a system whereby you never lose a lead, then this run clip probably isn't for you. But if you want a system that works just the same as a running lead system does, but occasionally you might lose a lead, then it's a really good option. So you might be thinking, well, I don't need one of them. I'll just use a regular lead clip and have that sliding up and down the line. If you watch my video on how lead clips can be dangerous, you'll know that that's probably not a good idea. The reason why this works is that they've separated the tail rubber from the actual piece that holds the lead in place with this little rubber ring. This means that any force from the tail rubber end is not pushing the tail rubber further on and holding the lead clip in place because this tail rubber is stopped at this point here. It's got nothing to do with this ring here and this is why this system is very safe. So I'm gonna create a worst case scenario here. I've just grabbed a twig and I've done some overhand knots and I'm gonna lock a twig halfway up our lead free leader. If this happens on a standard lead clip that's been set to running, then bad things can happen. But on this system, the tail rubber is gonna get to there. This is then gonna get dragged along and then the lead's gonna get caught on something. And you can see it's off with ounces of force because no matter how hard I pull here, this tail rubber is not pushing the lead to be further locked on because it's this ring that's locking the lead in place, not the tail rubber. And this lead will discharge with a few shakes as well. So some of you might be concerned that the carp is still towing this leader and towing around this clip, but that's the case with any running lead system anyway. I fish barbless and I know that they can get rid of these barbless hooks pretty easily if something goes badly wrong. So from a safety aspect, I'm very happy. I think it's one of the kind of safest running leg configurations that we can possibly have. Combine that with barbless hooks and I don't think you can really get a safer system. So one of the questions I know I'm gonna get asked a lot on this particular clip is, can you use it with tubing? So the answer is, yes, you can, but it doesn't work great. But I think I've got an idea of how to make it work better. So I fished with this setup last night and we've got a lot of green on at the moment, a lot of algae, and we've got plenty of silt and stuff. I haven't put a stopper or anything at the top of this tube in, but this is a tiny little hole here, and it basically gets jammed up with gunk. When I first loaded the tube in, obviously thread, threaded on, it was absolutely fine. But now what happens, there's nothing to stop this tube in riding up at all. But if I hold the tube in, and the lead's off the deck, this tubing should slide up this line, but it doesn't because it's now filled with gunk. So what are the consequences for the run clip if the tubing doesn't slide? Well, let's pick it up and have a look. So carp's gonna come along, and the first thing that's gonna happen is that that is now acting as a semi-fixed rig. When the carp shakes his head, it kind of slides away, but kind of doesn't. You can see what's happening. The body of the lead clip has actually slid up the tubing rather than the tubing sliding up the line. And yeah, we've got a bit of separation at the top here between the swivel sleeve and the tubing. So the tubing has moved a bit, but most of the displacement has been from the lead clip body moving up the line. Now that has a few implications. First of all, on a pressured lake, the carp are gonna find it easier to do this rig because it's not sliding away nicely. Secondly, you're more likely to lose the lead on the take because this is not sliding away cleanly. So those are two good reasons why this running lead clip is not ideally suited for use with tubing. But there's a way of making it a bit better. I think the issue is actually being caused by this tail rubber here, because this tail rubber is gripping the tubing. And if I pull that tail rubber 
off and in this case I'm just going to slide it up the tubing and kind of take it out of the equation for a second. So now the carp's going to come along and as soon as he moves away you can see what's happening is that this lead clip body is staying stationary and the tubing is moving through. As soon as we get a bit of tension on the line the run clip locks into place and it works exactly as it did before so I'm happy with that. Because that's sliding away, the carp's not going to be able to use it the weight of the lead against us and we're going to get good bite indication. So what I would say is, if you are going to give one of these run clips a go and you do have to use tubing, my advice would be don't install the tail rubber. The run clip can also be used on bare mainline or a traditional mono leader. So that's how the run clip sits on a 0.50 mono snag leader and you can see it runs up and down there very, very easily. So in terms of venue choice and where I've fished with this running clip, obviously I've done a lot of fishing here at my own lake in France, which is a small estate lake, a lot of short to medium range fishing, casting, boat work, bait boat work, uh, dropping some rigs from a bushwhacker, and yeah, works great, no issues. I've also had the opportunity to take it down the river and I've done all of my river fishing with this run clip this year and I've actually had my best season ever. 100% hook to land ratio. Yeah, I lost a couple of leads along the way but I did not lose a carp and that is amazing on the river. I've also had the opportunity to take it out to my local public boating lake. It's quite a shallow venue. The carp aren't very big. Uh, the takes tend to be savage. They absolutely just tear off at 100 miles an hour and I must admit that every one that I've hooked and landed I did I did lose the lead actually on the tape because they were savage so yeah it's a bit of a shame but that's the way it was. The other thing that's important to note here with this run clip is that I've had no issues with tangles. I wouldn't combine it with a supple braided rig and you know especially if I was casting it, it's okay for kind of marginal work or lowering from a boat but uh, I've mainly fished it with heavy duty uh, 30 pound mono rigs because they're very anti-tangle by nature anyway. I've done a lot of fishing with lightweight zig flow hook links uh, but I have used an extra long anti-tangle sleeve to give that first kind of uh, seven centimeter boom effect. So uh, that makes it very anti-tangle. Another plus point for this running clip system is the fact that it works really well with PVA mesh bags. Now, if you've ever tried to fish a running rig with a PVA mesh bag, especially if you're doing a decent chuck, you'll notice that uh, the weight of the PVA mesh and the drag will kind of draw the lead up the line or the up the leader a bit and this can increase tangle risk and it can all go horribly wrong. One of the advantages of this run clip is that the, the, the curve on the cast and a really big cast it locks that clip into place it locks the lead into place so it doesn't ride up the drag doesn't move that clip on the cast and this is this is a really important feature for me. So overall, I'm very happy with this product. It's convenient, it's easy to use, and it's very effective. I think it's a much better option compared to traditional lead clip based systems. No system is absolutely foolproof. I still have been done on this setup, but I've caught an awful lot of carp when I've been testing it. 